everybody. This is Supreme Being, another episode for you. Coming to you live from uh, Southern California. <clears throat> my name is BC, and as always, this is sponsored by Team BC, my real estate team. If you need anything real estate, go to teambcsold.com, or you can email us at teambcsold at gmail.com, okay? Number two, if you would like to partner with myself and my team, you can go to partnerwithteambc.com, and lastly, Modern Success. Many of you have been hearing about Modern Success. I'll tell you this, if you're on the fence or you really are serious and you wanna know more about my program, then message me. But only message me if you're considering it and you're serious. Don't waste my time, okay? Or if you wanna sign up, link in my bio on Instagram or briancasella.com. You have plenty of people you can talk to as far as testimonials and all that. We have 270-ish members right now. Um, so the program has really grown into a community at this point, okay? I wanted to <clears throat> cover a topic that's always relevant today that everybody needs to brush up on and I believe is one of the cores for not only success on the outside, but blossoming on the inside as a human being, okay? There's a lot of talk about um, you know, confidence, right? And I wanna talk a little bit about it, but I wanna talk more about getting to the core a level or two above that is confidence in some of these traits that a lot of people strive to have, okay? Now, before I get into anything, you need to understand there's two, there's two sides to these equations and all these things, whether we're talking about the law of attraction, like everybody's like, oh, I need to read the secret in the law of attraction, right? We, we talk about monetary success, anything. If we're gonna look on the mental plane or the physical plane, those are two planes. So whatever you want to manifest, whatever you want to create, there's two planes that we're on. You have the inner world, the mental side, and then you have the mundane side, the physical reality. And the biggest mistakes that, uh, that people make is they do not fuse both. We have people who blindly, at times, take action too much, and they're going the wrong way, with zero retrospect, and studying, and learning, and adjustment of technique, then you have the people, and most people fall on this one, by the way, where it's, they're in la-la land. They think they're spiritual, they think they're working on themselves, and they're really not doing shit because all they're doing is just playing around in their mind, but there's no action in the mundane real world. Extremes of either one are gonna get you nowhere. The people that are, you are seeing that are having success, whether they realize it or not, are doing something on the mental plane, and they're also taking action on the physical plane. And this is something that people need to understand, learn, and master if they want massive results. If you're following me and you're looking to be average or slightly above average, forget about it, okay? Forget about it. I'm not for that. I'm for the people who want to really do big shit, okay? So we have the mental plane and the physical plane. I've used different words too, just in case any of you or coming in from different fields of study, you understand the reference. So if we're gonna zoom in on some of these qualities, like confidence, for example, okay? Confidence does stem from the inner game, of course, ultimately, but also on the outer realm, the physical realm, certain actions and things need to be done and, and steps need to be taken, okay? Case in point, <clears throat> if I want to go communicate with the world, I wanna do a video, I wanna to talk to a stranger, I wanna engage in a conversation with somebody, okay? There's two things at play. There's the mechanical side, physically, knowing what to do, how to position my body, the tone of my voice, the softness or hardness of my eyes, my smile, all the technical stuff, okay? How I approach, how I walk, how I carry myself, but there's also the inner side, because you can have all of the, the techniques, but if on the inside, your self-image is of a peanut or an ant, then you're not gonna get anywhere because you think less of yourself, okay? I want you to check real quick. The, the word that has been thrown around that has destroyed people that they misunderstand is the word humble, okay? People have completely misunderstood that word. I've said this before, look up the definition of what it really means, okay? Now there's context and situations where yes, you bring yourself down, of course, but that has been thrown around to attack people too much. If your viewpoint, your inner self-image of you is that I look down, I'm small, I'm weak, I don't care what techniques are given on the outside, 
Mm -mm. You're not going to get anywhere or you're going to have limited results. Let's flip it. Somebody who has an internal frame and identity and self image that's very powerful that has been uh, built over time. Okay. They're going to have better success, but if all the techniques are wrong, they're still not going to get the result because their technique is off. Okay. Now the more difficult of the two is the inner game. Okay. This is why most people, most individuals run towards all the products and all the seminars that are the one, two, three step system to get rich and be confident and do this, which is all bullshit. Okay. But they run away from handling insecurities and facing themselves because you literally on a mental uh, plane, for example, if you can imagine this, you're staring at yourself in the mirror. You know you more than anybody else. A lot of people walk around um, and they've created the shell to block potential attacks on their insecurities. Okay. That's why they won't say certain things. They're afraid to do video. All these other manifestations of it, they boil down to that self image. And that's a tough thing for a lot of people to confront because it requires you being uncomfortable, putting yourself out there and possibly in a sense being embarrassed. Like when I started doing videos and putting myself out there, you think everybody was watching me and supporting me? No, they were talking shit. Who the fuck is going to listen to you? You're young. You don't know shit, blah, blah, blah. Who are you to talk about this and that? I still get it now from fucking idiots who don't know shit. And I laugh. I'm like, who the fuck are you, bro? To give me fucking critiques about what advice to give. Who the fuck are you? Now, I don't need to say that. I just laugh on the inside at the, the, the delusion in that person's eyes to give me and their position, give me advice. It doesn't make any fucking sense. So, and let's flip that. When do you ever see me going on your shit or someone else's shit? Oh, how dare you? I don't do that shit. A higher level individual doesn't have time for that, nor do we think that way. That's stupid. We help the people around us that want to be helped. Or we do stuff like this, where we've created communities and crowds who come to us to better themselves. Okay? So if you're ever in doubt about some of these actions to take in these situations, say the better version of me, the more advanced version of me, what would he or she do in this situation? How would they respond to this? If they weren't feeling good, what would they do right now in this moment at this time in my life based on what I want? And the answers will start coming to you. Okay. So uh, going back to the, the subject of confidence, we have the, the person who's working on their self image, right? Some things you can do to help you real quick would be, um, uh, some visualizations, right? If you did not know, as a reminder, the subconscious mind does not know the difference when you create mental imagery. They don't know the difference between that and what's happening in real life. Case in point, I run a scenario in my mind every morning for the realtors as an example. 20 times, I'm going to visualize doing a listing presentation with a client and them signing and saying, I want to hire you and shaking my hand. And I go through that 20 times in the morning. It takes me 10 minutes, for example. You do that enough and you drill in real life the actions that it's going to take to get there. Guess what? You're going to be out there getting a contract signed by customers, period. Now, the, the kicker behind all this is you actually have to believe that that works. If you do it and in the back of your mind, like, this is bullshit. I don't think it's going to work. Then it's not going to work. Okay? Every single person who does this the activity that I just described or has been a, a, a revolutionary as far as like an invention. They had an unwavering burning belief that what they were doing was a creation that was going to come to fruition. Okay. That's missed by people. Cause what I said, they're like, Oh, well, that's bullshit. How am I going to believe in something? I don't know if it's going to work. Well, how about the Wright brothers who created the first fucking airplane? How stubborn were they in their belief that that shit was going to work or anybody who's invented anything of note? The phones that you guys are using right now, the camera that I'm looking into, the lights, the houses, everything. People had an unwavering belief amongst criticism and naysayers to say, I'm going to make this shit happen. So that has to be there. It's a fucking requirement before you have proof that it's going to work. Now, now certain things like you become a real estate agent. Sure, the blue blueprint is out there and you can just duplicate it, of course. But if you're trying to create a new version of you, there is no blueprint for a better and newer version of you. You can maybe spot that in different people, but your process is going to be different. Your journey is going to be different than theirs. So you have to believe that's, that's what I did in the beginning. Maybe I was just too fucking naive. I don't know, but I said, I'm going to make this shit happen. If he can do it, I can do it. Period. 
Now the road might be a little different, but fuck it, I'll figure it out. And that, that, that's what I hate sometimes about people. We give advice and oh well, you know, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure in the beginning. But what the fuck, what do you have to lose? What's the other option? Give up or not do it? Then you didn't want it bad enough in the beginning. So if we look at this with confidence, my question to people is, what the fuck are you willing to go through to get that confidence that you want? Because if the answer isn't something like this, whatever it takes, anything, then you don't want it and you're not going to get it because that has to be your fucking attitude. Not, oh yeah, I'll do anything. Okay, bro, uh, go to the seminar. It's 50 bucks. Well, okay, here's the thing. I just want to get free shit and I'm going to take my time. Okay, get the fuck out of my face. You're not serious. That's my answer to that. Hey, go, go read this book, go get these 10 books, do that, and then do the seminar. Well, okay, well, you know, is there just like a YouTube video I can watch? Go fuck yourself. You don't want it. You know why? Because in the beginning, whatever I did, whether it was basketball, athletics related, real estate, this, that, I didn't have the money, I thought, I didn't have the time, but I figured the shit out. And people are so pussy nowadays, man. Everybody. It, it, it's sickening to me. You know how many messages I get from people? Oh man, I love your stuff. I'm going to be like the number one protege under you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, bro. You're like number 6,000 who's told me that. Sure. Then when I tell them, this is exactly what you need to do, the stories come. Oh, here's the thing, bro. I'd love to do that, but boom, I get a whole fucking essay about why they can't do it. I'm going to do it. If you put half that fucking effort into figuring out a way to just get it done, you would fucking, you would, you would get it done. Period. How about the people who go to, like I did, I did the Messengers and Tabi out event with Arash, AZD, shout out to him, right? Been a mentor and a business partner of mine now for years. He's doing events and other people are doing events for 25, 50, Tony Robbins, a million fucking dollars to do a one on one with him for one day. And he has a one year fucking waiting list. And people are coming up with the money because they want it bad enough. Now, am I saying give me a million dollars? No. But you have to have that hunger like those individuals who are willing to give a million fucking dollars to spend a couple hours with Tony Robbins because they see the value in that. And they're like, you know what? This is the point in my journey where this has to be done and whatever. If it's a million bucks, fuck it, bro. It's a million bucks. I'm going to do it. Not looking for the path of least resistance or where I can squeeze and do things. Eh, I don't want to do it. And then they bitch and complain along the way. Well, bro, I want to get a six pack, but damn, I have to exercise. I have to actually watch what I eat. Like, come on, bro. Is there like a pill I can take or like an injection I can do just to, it's like, come on, dude. People won't say that directly, but their stories are alluding to that in a sense. I'm like, oh, so you want the, you want the little bitch way of doing it. Got it. Okay. Well, the little bitch way doesn't exist and it doesn't get you to where you want to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, dude. Sorry. Okay. So as time goes on, even though technology, like look at technology as an example, you know how easy it is for people to make money nowadays. There's people on YouTube making probably hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. And all they do is fucking talk about other people. They have nothing of value to give. And all they do is talk about celebrities and rumors and they make a lot of money. That's how fucking easy it is to make money nowadays. Yet people want to work less. So it's flipped. Back in the day, you had to work your fucking ass off for a little bit. Now, if people took that same work ethic and applied it to modern times, they'd be probably a fucking gazillionaire in a much easier way because they didn't have to invent something revolutionary. They could just get on fucking YouTube as an example or create some little digital product or whatever and boom, they blow up. So what the fuck are people's excuses? You see, but even that person who creates that YouTube channel and just gossips and dramas and all that and, 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 and does that, you best guarantee they had a vision of it and they knew it would work, they believed it, and then they backed it up with the action. That's why they're making videos every fucking day. So even what I described, again, whether they realize it or not, the mental and physical plane are being merged and they're fucking executing and doing it. But 90% of people will fall into the mental plane. They'll mentally masturbate forever. Well, if I just sit here with the law of attraction and I... And I, and I pray that I'm going to get a million dollar paycheck in my mailbox. Oh, it's going to happen. And I'm like, dude, you really think that's going to happen with zero effort? Like you really think that's going to manifest? 
You think you're gonna be great at communicating and talking to other people by just sitting there and visualizing it and never talking to anybody? Same thing with the real estate agents who come to me. Bro, before I ever make a call or go door to door, I'm just gonna study the script and have it memorized and know all the objection handlers, then I'm gonna get out there. I'm like, dude, those are two completely fucking different things. Practice and the real shit. You have to go out there and learn while you do it. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, dude. Like, it, it's not this thing, this formula is so fucking simple. You know why I've gotten to where I'm at? Because I'm stubborn and I'm consistent as fuck. That's it. That's it. I'm stubborn and consistent with making videos, studying, doing my real estate shit, and everything else that I fucking do, period. That's it. I'm not fucking special. I wasn't born with an extra brain and all this other shit that people think or these special fucking opportunities and all this stuff. I just worked more than everybody else. And when they thought about quitting, I kept going. That's it. I was like, oh, social dynamics. Oh, sales. Oh, NLP. Oh, hypnosis. Oh, this. Oh, that. Going door to door, cold calling. That's it. It's fucking simple. It's not complicated. Everybody gets in their own fucking way. But you know what it boiled down to? My self-image, along with all the fucking action that I was taking, kept improving and growing. And I saw myself as that person that does that and becomes successful. That's why I was able to do it day in and day out. I wasn't sitting there every fucking day for five hours watching motivational videos and jerking off to it like most people do. While they're doing that, I was taking action and learning something of substance. Stop going for the fucking fluff. Get some skills. You know why? Because when you have a certain skill set at a certain level, elite level, you now become irreplaceable in this market. So let's say you're a video influencer as an example who teaches something. Well, if you communicate and deliver better than everybody else, you now have a skill set of the few. Therefore, you're irreplaceable and you will continue to be compensated as such. But so many people want a million dollars, $10 million, and they ain't worth shit. What, do you, what have you done to get to the level to give value that's worth that? I can easily quantify why I'm where I'm at and where I'm going based on the actions that I've taken, what I've learned and what I'm giving and what I do easily. I could sit somebody down with a piece of paper for an hour and just go through it and they'll be like, okay, that makes sense. No wonder you're doing what you're doing and you, and you keep growing. Because it makes sense. I didn't just suddenly watch a motivational video and be like, oh, I'm gonna make $10 million next year. And then a week later, hey bro, what's up with the $10 million? Well, you know, it, it wasn't for me and, um, and then all the fucking excuses come out. But that's that person's self-image, the person who starts something and quits and does something else. Whether they realize it or not, that's their self-image. My self-image as an example, hey, you go against me in anything, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win because I'm competitive as fuck. If I'm gonna say I'm gonna do something and start it, I'm gonna see that shit through. Whether people laugh at me along the way or they support me, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking see it through. I'm gonna start something new, I'm gonna dedicate myself to that thing, whatever it is, and be incredible at it very fast. Very fast. That's my self-image. Anything I'm saying to people, if they start trying to attack me, now, oh, you're cocky, you're arrogant, they're fucking idiots. Why? That's my self-image. How the fuck else am I supposed to do well if I don't think like that? Oh, well, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of effort and, what the fuck? What they've done is they've taken your ability to think higher and attacked you for it and said, you can't think that way and you bought that bullshit. So you think you're supposed to think less of yourself and think at a lower level to make fucking everybody else feel better about themselves. Fuck them, dude. You know why? Because when I do better and think better and speak this way, other people start saying, dang, what is it about that? Hey bro, can we talk? Yeah, come sit at the table and I'll talk to them. And you know what? I'll make them better. I'll make them better. That's how we fucking grow. That's how we get better. Not by being little bitches. We need to wake up. We need to wake up and step the fuck up. Because that's ultimately what's going to create the change that everybody wants. But guess what? To step up like that, you got to have some balls and you got to have some courage. Are you willing to be attacked, singled out, punched, kicked, attacked, gossiped about? Or... Are you just gonna fly under the radar like everybody else and live a mediocre life? That's entirely up to you, okay? With that said, um, I'll end it here. I'll leave it open to questions here in a second. 
If you're listening to this on the podcast, as always, this is sponsored by Team BC, my real estate team. Uh, if you need anything real estate, go to teambcsoul.com. Number two, if you would like to partner with myself and my team, go to partner with teambc.com. And lastly, if you like this type of stuff, uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I recommend you get on Modern Success. The link is in my bio on Instagram, or you can go to briancasella.com and it's on the front page, okay? We'll see you on the other side. All right, peace. Thank you.